Hey my dear data friends, it's Nicola from Data Mozart. In this video, I want to show you one super important feature in Power BI and tabular modeling, which is called object level security. With object level security, we can control who can access certain parts of our Power BI reports. This video is also part of mastering DP600 exam as object level security is one of the topics that is covered by uh, Fabric Analytics Engineering Certificate. Stay tuned. So I'm in Power BI desktop and you can see my, I hope nicely looking uh, Power BI report that shows a total number of vehicle collisions in New York City. That's the open data set so you can all go and uh, download it and play on your own. Uh, so what's the idea here? I want to display here in this uh, visual, uh, user can choose between seeing collisions, deaths and injuries. So the idea is to block certain group of users to see the number of deaths here. So they, can, they should be able to see only collisions or injuries. So how do we do this? We cannot do this by using role level security. Role level security is uh, another option to secure your data in Power BI. Uh, but for this example, we cannot use role level security because role level security uh, uh, restricts the access to certain attributes. For object level security, uh, for uh, hiding or showing specific columns, tables and consequentially measures, we need to use object level security. So how do we configure uh, uh, and set up uh, object level security in Power BI Desktop. Unfortunately, there is no way to do it in Power BI Desktop. So our uh, savior is, once again, Tabular Editor, a wonderful uh, external tool created by Daniel Lotekir and his team in uh, Tabular Editor. There are two versions of Tabular Editor, 2 and 3. Uh, Tabular Editor 2 is free, Tabular Editor 3 is paid version of uh, this product. It's up to you to choose which one you want to use, but uh, I have great news for you. Uh, object level security can be configured by the free version, so with Tabular Editor 2. So uh, the main ingredient for object level security to work is Tabular Editor. So I already installed Tabular Editor on my machine and I can access it directly from Power BI Desktop if I go to external tools and then I will open Tabular Editor. So what's the idea here? Let's uh, first I need to create a role because uh, if I go now here and find my uh, collisions table and then a number of persons killed. If I scroll down translations, perspective security, there is no option for object level security. So the first step is to define the role within the Power BI desktop. I can do it also from uh, tabular editor, but for the sake of simplicity, let's do that in, uh, in Power BI Desktop. So I will go uh, under Modeling tab and then Manage Roles and let's create a new one. I create the, this one, no deaths, because basically that's we want what we want to, uh, to restrict. And I will just hit on Save. So no, uh, uh, no uh, DAX rules, no DAX formulas, because we don't want to define role level security. In case you want to define a role level security, then you uh, set the DAX definition, DAX formulas here uh, within the Power BI desktop. And once again, let's go to tabular editor and I'll just uh, under roles. Now we have this role, no deaths, okay? And now if I go to my table collisions, so I can't set uh, uh, object level security on a measure, but I can set it on a column that is part of the measure. So if I now go to number of persons killed and scroll down, now you see that object level security option is available here. So I have my no deaths role displayed and instead of default, I will set here to none. Because uh, the measure, let me go back to... Uh, to Power BI Desktop and show you the measure definition. So uh, total killed is essentially uh, 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 a sum of cyclist killed, motorist killed, pedestrians and vehicle uh, uh, killed. And then we switch here uh, 
based on on the user selection so i will go to number of persons killed number of pedestrians killed also object level security set to none and then number of cyclists killed set to none and finally number of motorists killed i will set this to none once i'm done with defining object level security i'll simply save the changes to uh my uh analysis services database behind this uh, uh, pbix file and what i need to do now is go to modeling tab and select view as now if i select to see as no that user bam what happened with my report uh, you see that some of visuals are broken so let's go and see the details this error message is not so helpful so something's wrong with one or more fields total selected because total selected our measure relies on the number of deaths and we prevented user uh, uh, that belongs to our all no deaths to see this value automatically all the visuals that are using this measure will be broken and if you take a look here uh, you see that uh, it says so the, the the message says this field was deleted from the model and can't be used in this visual this is very important because it's different uh, uh, compared to behavior of row level security whereas in row level security you're just using dax formulas to wrap the query and uh just not retrieve the certain parts of data but those underlying objects are still part of your semantic model in object level security those objects are completely omitted from semantic model so they don't even exist and therefore we are seeing this uh, uh, message that it was deleted from the model and uh, all our uh, visuals are yeah consequentially they are broken so if i click on stop viewing our visuals are again there so it's fairly easy to implement object level security you just need tabular editor as an external tool it's still not possible to do it from power bi desktop and then you can validate the implementation of object level security by testing using this role we should have done all the uh, the same thing uh, and this testing also in power bi service but i wanted to show you here in power bi desktop that's all folks for today uh if you enjoyed this video uh please click this like like button down below and uh, if you want to stay up to date with latest uh dp600 videos power bi related videos microsoft fabric related videos make sure to subscribe to data motor channel see you soon